Our match today, as we welcome you to the home of Liverpool Football Club, comes from Anfield. And we're looking forward, Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, to calling the shots for you. This match will feature Argentina against France. We talk about the highest level that a player can achieve. Alan, you had the honour of playing for England. And we've got two national teams here today. Oh, it's always a special moment. You pull on your nation shirt. Always a big game. This is no different. Anfield now bigger, a massive stand that was opened in uh, 2016 has increased the capacity. It's made it perhaps less intimate here, but still a very special place. Yeah, I mean, this new stand that we're sat in at the moment, I think they have made a, a good job of it. It's nice and steep and not too far away from the pitch. This is the starting lineup today. Marcus Rojo starts with Javier Mascherano as the centre back. Lucas Bilia plays with Eva Benego in the engine room. In attack, Gonzalo Higuain starts up front with Lionel Messi. First half, top by France. It's messy. Excellent work with the tackle. Ball uh, back with France. Conte. And Villa Conte. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Just the keeper to beat. It's a fast start here. They deserve that goal. They've been the better team early on. He can't have scored many better than this. With the bendies imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. lead then with Argentina Olivier Giroud and in he goes with the tackle Conte Mendy Villa Lionel Messi They've lost the ball, and the counter-attack could be there. Di Maria. Lionel Messi! It's another goal! He's beaten the goalkeeper, but only just it went in off the keeper. Well, I think it was just a pair on the ball, Martin. It was too much for him. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. To the host, number 10. Rafael Varane. Messi. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Eva Banega. Bilia. Olivier Giroud. 
Pogba. Come away with the ball cleanly. Great tackle. Eva Banega. Angola Conte. Pogba. That's good movement forward here. Needs to be quick. Angel Di Maria. This is how they love to play on the break. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Dybala. Into the attacking third. Shot off. He blocked it then. Oh, it's a corner. Fire that deflection. Played in by Messi. Dybala! Well, that needed a more... Lionel Messi! Very good distance to the clearance. Argentina, it's their ball, it's their throw. Dybala, looking for Lionel Messi. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. He's kept the ball after a good first touch. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. That's good support play from his teammates. Mbappe. And the offside stops the play. Mike went up. Referee blue. One back very quickly. Iguayi, able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. In on the goalkeeper. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Lionel Messi. It's Argentina attacking here. And the goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Argentina, corner for them. Short corner. Messi. The fourth official has indicated... Proper clearance. Well away from the danger zone. You know, it's hard to find days when Messi's not at his best, but he certainly has been today. Oh, he's looked really lively today, hasn't he? He's been getting the ball in good areas, turning, shooting with both feet, and he's got himself a goal. Decided to take a short corner this time. Pulls it back now. Here's the shot from distance. Praise for trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy. Oh, how about that effort from Di Maria? And the referee is blown for half time. And the kickoff, it's Argentina for the start of the second half. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. And here's the shot. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. I think the uh, manager's decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception, which he wouldn't get at the final whistle. He's uh, getting an ovation now as the substitution is made. Yeah, and well deserved too. A strong contender for man of the match. And the goalkeeper got across to it. Acuna. It was good progress with this attack. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Well, he's got support here. The ball 
was loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Activity on the bench for the losing team. A substitute getting ready to come on. Taken by Messi. I know this manager's not too keen on this kind of play. Uh, he'd rather the ball was in the other half and they were playing their football in the opposing half. That may well be an advantage for France here. And now he's looking for some support. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. This could be a chance. Aguero is in. Aguero! And Aguero, and he scored! Oh, wonderful stuff. You never had any doubt. I don't think he did, and nobody watching there did either. Always going to end up in the back of the net. That does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Rafael Varad. Sidibe. Forward momentum is with France here. Conte. It's a good place to win the ball here. Shots on here. That is typical Sergio Aguero. Well, as gunslingers come, there aren't many better than this hitman. Sergio Aguero, what a goal scorer he is. Two for him on the day, and two very well-taken goals. Substitution for Argentina. Coming off the pitch. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. It's confident, and it's classy, really, but it is a bit of a gamble for the player who's still in possession. Number seven, Sergio. Good forward play from them. They've lost the ball in a bad area. The shot's on. Got in the way. Good run towards keeper's ball, no question about that. It was a weak cross, really. Mendy. Pogba. Could be dangerous. If you look at the coaching manual, you don't defend like that. He's got caught too square to his man there, Paul. That's an excellent cross. He's kept it out. A fine header, better save. Yeah, he couldn't have connected any better with the header, but uh, really good agility from that keeper. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. It's Argentina attacking here. Keeper's ball. The player's a bit unhappy about this, but we can see it again, whether it should have been offside or not. It was called offside. Well, who would be a linesman, but this linesman, he's one of the best, and he gets it right here. Quick-witted. Aguero, and it's a goal here. And that's the third, the hat-trick. It's a day he'll never forget. Well, Alan, maybe that's the one he'll treasure the most, because it's given him the hat-trick. Yep, and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride. A little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game, but the team leading deserve the margin of what's going to be a very comfortable victory. Could be awkward if he loses the ball here, and he might do. There's some pressure on him. Two more minutes to play of added time. An attack from Argentina. What about this for a shot? Optimistic. And that's it, last blast on the whistle from the referee. Sergio Aguero has been brilliant.